Hey everyone, my name is Alinda Cole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. So today I have so many products to go through. I'm just wanting to do a video sharing with you guys all the products that I have been loving lately. I have body care, I have skincare, I have makeup, hair products, and some perfume and body mist. So I don't wanna waste any time and I'm just going to jump right into the video. So I'm going to start off with this Dove Dryness Relief Body Wash. And this is in the scent Oatmeal and Rice Milk. So I was never someone that really got into the whole body wash thing until I started really getting into perfumes. And then now like my hygiene game is to another level and I love looking for new body washes, new moisturizers, all of that good stuff. And this one I have been really, really, really liking. It's super softening on the skin. Um, it has a really nice light scent. It's not overpowering and it's a very like comforting feeling. And also scent wise, it's super comforting too. So if you're someone with drier skin, um, definitely try out the Dove Dryness Relief. Like I'm almost out of this one and I'm definitely going to pick up another one because I really, really like it. Uh, next up, I have a body moisturizer that is probably like the most moisturizing <laughs> um, moisturizer that sounds ridiculous, but yeah, moisturizing moisturizer that I have ever used that's from a drugstore. And so this is actually the new Vaseline Intensive Care and I have it in the scent, the Almond Smooth. So it has almond oil, vitamin E, and Vaseline jelly. It heals and nourishes dry skin without feeling greasy. So yes, I believe this is a newer product that Vaseline has come out with. I really, really like the scent. I wouldn't say that it's overwhelmingly like almond. I actually find it more fruity. And I find that everyone that has tried this, I've told family members about it and they really enjoy it too. It's exactly what it says, it's not greasy. Um, it's really, really nice. I find that it is thicker, so you need to give it some time to let it soak into the skin. But if you put it on at night, the next day your skin is gonna be feeling so, so soft. Next up, I have more um, skincare. And so I always double cleanse and I usually use a micellar water first. And I picked this one up by Evolu Evoluderm. Evoluderm. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is a micellar cleansing water. Um, it's alcohol free. It's derma dermatology. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been tested by dermatologists. I'll just say that. And it says that it's made in France. So it's a 500 ml. And I picked this up at Winners and it was only... $7.99. So sometimes I feel like hesitant to try different skincare products that are discounted, but honestly, I have been buying a lot of things from Winners lately and I have nothing bad to say. So I've been using this and it has been absolutely great to take off makeup. It's super affordable. It has not been irritating my skin. I have very sensitive skin. So yes, if you're looking for a cheaper, more affordable option for a micellar water, I definitely recommend this one. Um, next up is a new product that I've got and it's the Peace Out Cleansing Balm. It comes with like the little um, spoon <laughs> to get the product out and it's definitely a thicker texture. Okay, you guys, this is not a makeup remover. This is not like a cleansing balm makeup remover. It is not that at all whatsoever. It is just a cleanser that's kind of in a thicker form and it has salicylic acid, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and eight amino acid complex. So it's a daily gentle exfoli exfoliating cleanser. I got this because I have 
been dealing with a little bit of mask knee so getting some acne on my chin area and i wanted something that would be effective i researched this and it had really great reviews it's super super affordable and honestly it has been amazing for my skin i don't necessarily exfoliate every single day but i use this probably every other day and it's been really helping just um um, minimal breakouts and just keeping my skin nice and clear so if you're someone that suffers with kind of more like minor acne or a little bit of mass knee or like some spots definitely try out this piece out cleansing balm it's a different texture but it keeps your skin so soft and smooth it's non-irritating and the ingredients are honestly really really good Okay, so for toner, I have been absolutely loving the Lancome um, Comfort Toner. So it looks like this. Yeah, it's Tonique Comfort. And it is a rehydrating, comforting toner with acacia honey, acacia. Oh my goodness, there's so many words that I'm like, I just don't even know at this point. But yeah, it's really good for drier skin. Again, I find that this product is fairly affordable. It's not crazy expensive and it is the best toner that I have ever used. I find it keeps my skin super hydrated. It gives it a glow and it is comforting. If you look up the reviews, that this product has such a good rating. So if you're looking for a new toner, you need to try this one out. Okay, this one I have been really, really loving and I was so shocked, but it is the Hydra Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin by Neutrogena. And this is, um, it contains hyaluronic acid and it's fragrance free. So that is why I really wanted to try this, is I was looking for a moisturizer that didn't contain any fragrance. If you do have slightly acne prone, more sensitive skin, definitely be aware of fragrance within your products. You know, the toner that I use definitely has some fragrance, but I really try to stay away from using a lot of fragrance on my face. I'll show you guys the texture, so it's this super nice like, gel like cl cloud looking texture and this is not anything fancy but it's simple and it works that's the thing is sometimes i feel like we can go over the top with our skincare products and it can actually make our skin worse but when we stick to really simple straightforward ingredients it can have amazing benefits for our skin so if you're someone looking for an effective moisturizer that is not heavy you really need to try the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Like, I think this is going to get a lot of hype around it. I'm sure it already does. So, yes, highly recommend this. The next product is the Peace Out Acne Treatment Dots with Salicylic Acid. So, this is kind of what it comes in. And I'll show you guys what the dots actually look like. So they come in these little packets. And each one comes, yeah, with 20 of the dots. As you can see, I've already used a lot in this pack. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, each packet comes with 10 and that's what they look like. So what you do with these is that this is an incredible spot treatment. So if you have one stubborn like pimple and you're just really wanting to get rid of it like now, stick one of these on your pimple at night and I swear it, it decreases the size of it by like 90%. Like it's basically gone and it sucks up all the sebum and the oil clogging the pore. Um, I do not know the science behind this, I but it, it seriously works. And it, guys, like this is another very affordable acne product. I highly recommend the Peace Out line. They have a serum too that I haven't tried. But you guys, this is not going to cost you a lot. And it's very effective ingredients in all of their products. I am absolutely loving this brand. Okay. Whew, I've already shown you guys so much, but now I have makeup. 
So I have been going crazy over this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm in the color Oslo, so it's kind of like the lightest one. There has been so much hype over this product, and I'm telling you, it's for a reason. So I'm wearing this today, and I've been wearing it for the last four days, and it suits my skin tone perfectly. I find that it's very, very good for combination skin. Um, I think this would also be quite good for oilier skin. I know some people have complained that it's like clung to the dry patches on their face. Luckily for me, I just don't really suffer with overly dry skin. I'm more on the oilier side slash combination. So this works for me. It has such beautiful coverage. It's more of a medium coverage. It covers everything I need it to. And then it gives you such a beautiful glow. So it honestly doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation at all. And yeah, this is the best foundation I have ever used in my life. So you need to run out <laughs> and try it for yourself. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's so good. And also it does not clog my pores. So I do not get any acne from using this foundation. Normally I do, normally makeup clogs my pores and I end up getting acne, but with this foundation that has not been a problem. Okay, next up I have two blushes by MAC and these are their Glow Play blushes. So these have a very like bouncy texture to them. And this one is in the color Grand. I really, really like this one on my skin. It's kind of like that rosier tone. It's very pretty. It's like an everyday kind of blush. And you guys, these blend in so nicely. So you can use your fingers or you can just use a sponge or a brush. And as much as these look so pigmented, I am telling you, once they blend out, like they're just so creamy and just so pretty. So I've been really loving the grand color and then I also got it in um, Cheeky Devil. This is a much more like brighter pink, but this is super cute for like spring and summer. And I got these 25% off just the other day. So I don't know how long that um, sale will be going on for, but I got these at a great price. And they're seriously so, so natural, so pretty. Today I am wearing the grand color, so that is the blush that I'm wearing. And I honestly want to go and buy like every color that they have in this collection. And then while I was at MAC, I picked up their Hot and Naughty Lash in a brown color. I'm trying to look like what the color is called. So it says A81. Okay, it's hot and naughty brown. So there we go. Very simple. So what's awesome with this mascara is that there's two ways that you can take out the uh, wand. So if you take it out this way, you're getting a lot more of like an intense application. So your lashes are going to be quite covered and coated when you use that side of the wand. When you twist this light, like lighter pink, you bring it up and as you can see there's a lot less product on the wand. So if you're wanting like a softer, more natural makeup look, you can use the pink. If you're wanting a more dramatic, like going out, definitely um, twist it from this purple sparkly end. And I never really thought about wearing um, like a darker brown mascara and that's what this color is. Although it says brown, it's definitely a darker brown and with blue eyes, when I've been wearing this, my eyes have just been popping lately. So I really, really, really do enjoy wearing um, this brown mascara. I usually switch it up between my telescopic in black and then also this MAC in the brown now and I've been really liking this lady lately. It's a nice change and if you have blue eyes, I highly recommend trying a brown mascara. Okay, so for lips, I found this lip product by Milani and it's their Rose Balm Transforming Lip Balm. 
So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's a very rosy, almost like clear type of look. But this um, balm, like this rose balm is so hydrating. I'm just going to put a little bit on. And I feel like so many different people could use this and it gives you just such a natural sheen. So it's super beautiful, super hydrating. I honestly want people to get this. Like I want this to just go viral because I think it's so worth it. Milani has such nice lip products and this is the best drugstore um, lip balm that I've ever used. Probably just in general one of the best I've ever used considering all the other ones I've tried. So definitely check out the Milani lip products. Okay, so now I have hair care and I do not know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Gisu. I'm going to call it Gisu. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name, but this is their honey infused leave-in conditioner. And their products aren't crazy expensive, but they're a little bit more expensive. But I'm telling you, this is so worth it. I put this on every single day after I get out of the shower, when my hair is more towel dried, and I spray it on before heat styling my hair. And I think it's absolutely saved my hair. It's added so much shine. It smells really, really good. It's just like a soft, pretty kind of like honey, slightly like floral scent. And then also their honey infused hair oil. Like I know everyone's been talking about the hair oil and now that I've tried it, I probably won't buy any other hair oil. It works so well. It gives my hair such a nice like shine to it. Like my fiance absolutely loves it too. He uses it on his hair. And yes, if you're looking for a really good hair oil, this is the one to get. All right, I'm almost done, you guys. I just have some body mists and perfumes. So I'm going to talk about the body mist first. I went to Victoria's Secret and saw that they had an almond blossom and oat milk body mist. And as you can see, it's labeled comfort. You guys, this scent is so comforting. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Like, Oh, it's so good. It's exactly what it says it is, almond blossom and oat milk. I find this definitely stays on clothing really, really long. This is almost becoming my bedtime scent, so I'm spraying it on my pajamas before I fall asleep. And I can actually still smell it on my pajamas the next day. So this is so worth it. If you're someone who loves comforting smells and kind of the smells of like oatmeal with vanilla and kind of like an almond scent, you will totally love this and I picked this up yesterday for $10 so again I don't know how long they're gonna have the $10 body care but yeah this is definitely one to check out and then I also picked up this small size of Victoria's Secret Tease Cream Cloud and to be honest this is like very, very, very sweet for me. A lot of people say it's like a dupe of Ariana Grande's cloud and I honest, I actually disagree with them. I don't think that they smell that similar. I find cloud like a lot more sweeter. While this one's more milky, this one's a lot more creamier. So that's why I like it. I actually am not the biggest fan of cloud because I find it overly sweet. While this one is still sweet, it has more of like a sandalwood ice cream kind of feel so yeah i just bought the small one for fun if i want one day to kind of throw this on and just you know fix my cravings for something really sweet this is the victoria's secret cream cloud i haven't worn it yet so i don't know about the projection and how long it lasts but i feel like if you spray their body mist on your clothing they'll definitely last a lot longer Okay, now I'm on to perfume. And so the first perfume I want to talk about is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. I feel like a lot of perfume reviewers talk about this scent and this is so nice for springtime. 
It's a light floral with a very shampoo type of vibes, vibe, so it's very clean smelling. Very feminine, very young. Um, this could be an everyday kind of signature scent. And lately I've been really liking it because I can wear it and I know that I smell good. I smell clean. Um, it's very, like, definitely a crowd pleaser. And men also really like it too. So if you're wanting just like a simple, everyday, pretty shampoo, clean scent, you should definitely check out um, Chance Au Tendre. And I love Chanel because all of their creations are very elegant, very sophisticated and classy. Okay, last but not least is Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. And it's of course in this stunning red high heel bottle. Some people hate these. I think that they're unique and it's a nice change. I also love the sprayers on these. It's such a like fine mist. And this is <laughs> hyped up for a reason. I compared, like I have the original Delina and I've also smelt the Delina exclusive, exclusive, however it's pronounced. And this reminds me so much of the exclusive one. Um, it definitely has aspects of the original Delina too, but this is such a good affordable option if you really want that scent, but you're not wanting to spend a lot of money. I'm telling you guys, this is in the same family as those scents. Like this smells so feminine, so pretty, and also it has this amazing like vetiver base. It's such a like interesting scent to me. This is not your boring everyday kind of scent. This is definitely like a flirty, girly, feminine. You can wear this anywhere going out. Um, the one thing that I will say is I don't find it like projects a crazy amount. It still does and it doesn't have the same kind of lasting powder, powder, power as the original Belina. But for the price, this is so unbelievable like I was absolutely shocked I really really like this this could totally be someone's signature scent this is like Delina Delina exclusive on a budget you really need to go and try this so thank you guys so much for watching. I know it had been a while since I made a video, but I feel like I shared so much with you and I hope you really enjoyed this and please make sure to like and subscribe and have an amazing day.